supplies and equipment. Tanner, it's all yours. Zach Wilson in his return, returning from the thumb injury. Let's look at how he did. Some good things and some room to improve. On this play here, one of his best throws of the day, Matt Bushman and Zach both see the middle of the field open. Bushman adjusts his route, bends it, and Zach puts it right on the money. That's a tight window, but he makes it look easy. Next play here. It's a 10 yard out, a 10 yard completion, but this ball travels 30, 35 plus yards in the air. That's, that's great touch over the, over the defender. Micah Simon showing the fancy footwork on the sideline, but that's a great throw, hard to make, harder than it looks. And then here, this is something that the receivers need to pay attention to. With Zach in the game, any throw is an option, any throw is available. And Zach can make these deep throws down the field. And as you see Talon here, he's looking, he's looking, but then he starts to look away, he starts slowing down. He thinks that the play's over. It's never over with Zach in the game. Ends up uh, being in a little bit of an overthrow, but if, if Talon keeps running, that's completion. Something Zach can do better here, though. He can get the ball out of his hands quicker. Steps up into the pocket, protection could be, could be better a little bit, but he's got to get the ball out of his hands quick. Zach is known for making plays, but sometimes he's got to take an easier, easier play when it's available to him. Yeah, and talking about Zach Wilson, we also talked about clean execution from this BYU team. It's crucial for today's game that BYU, because of now Finau being out of the game, whoever comes in a running back needs downfield blocking like we see right here. Look at BYU hat on the hat, winning their individual battles, allowing the running back to essentially be untouched into the end zone. And the same thing with BYU for this back end, you can see they do a trap block in the back. There's something new, a new wrinkle they threw in the office this week. It, it provided to be a, a touchdown for BYU. Now we go to Micah Simon running the fly sweep. We saw against USF, not successful. But now we see the fly sweep happen to the boundary. But BYU blocks it up well. Bushman's out in front. You've got down there Shumway. You, you've got everyone winning their battles. And this is something when you've got young guys rotating through. You've got running backs that don't have a lot of experience. The Chesney, namely in this game. Algier coming back from defense. You're going to have to have block on the outside, make sure that everyone's helping out these young guys and getting them experience. And like I said, offensively, they've got to get on track and get, a, got to get, tr get on track early in order for this uh, team to jump out to a strong lead. BYU's been one of the top teams in the country all season long at defending big plays and managing these big plays and not allowing teams to get over the top, to get chunk plays in their offense. Here we've got a 10-3 lead for Tennessee. The first half is winding down. First and 10 on a 31, an opportunity for a touchdown. Look at Austin Lee break on the football, run through the football, and dislodge it from the receiver's hands. This is a potential big play, and Austin Lee says, no, we're going to close the door. And the combination of BYU's secondary and linebackers has been really good defensively and kept everything in front. Here we got... Uh, Isaiah Kafusi with an interception against Boise State. Watch him bait the quarterback, gets to the outside, reads the quarterback's eyes, and, and comes back inside and gets the pick on a first and 10 on the Boise State 30. It gave BYU a short field. They were able to go down and take advantage of that.